what's up everybody so we're out in the shop with another shop talk tuesday and in this episode we are heat treating the chopper so we've got to get out there into the other shop get this thing heat treated that process is going to consist of three rounds of normalizing at 1550 degrees 1500 degrees 1450 degrees get that all done and then we're going to be quenching it in parks 50 whenever we've achieved a temp of 1475 to 1525. The awesome thing about 5160 is it is probably one of the most forgiving stills that you will ever, ever, ever heat treat. Super simple. You, you almost can't even mess up this particular still. If you get it hot and you quench it, there's a good chance you're going to have some sort of a hardened edge. It is very forgiving. Most stills do not have the ability to have a 50 degree range between their actual temp that you're trying to achieve. Most stills have to have soak times and all these different things. Now, 5160 does benefit from a little bit of a soak time. If you can keep it at that temp range for three to five minutes and then quench it, you're gonna have a better hardened blade. So, you do have that to think about. But, when it boils down to it, get this stuff hot, get it non-magnetic, go a little bit past that, quench this bad boy in vegetable oil, canola oil. If you're brave enough, water. I would never quench it in water. So, vegetable oil, canola oil, Parks 50, peanut oil. You can pretty much quench 5160 in so many different types of oils. And it's one of the only stills that really has that option. So 5160 leaf spring material is a perfect beginner's material if you're going to have to work with something, do something like this. So what we need to do, get out into the forge, get the forge heated up, warmed up to temp, and then go ahead and start our normalizing cycles. So that's what we're going to do now. So you might be asking yourself, Eric, is normalizing really that important? Is that something that I should focus on whenever I'm going to be heat treating my blades? And the answer is yes. There's no harm in normalizing your steel. Nothing is going to be hurt because you decided to do that. But you can take steel and not normalize it and then end up with an inferior hardness or an inferior grain structure because you didn't normalize it. Now, the whole point behind normalizing steel is getting rid of the stress from the forging process and then refining your grain structure, reducing the size of your grain inside your steel. Now, that's important because whenever you go and you do your heat treat process and you bring it up to temp and then you quench it, you bring everything together and by normalizing your steel, you're going to have a finer and more smooth grain structure on the inside of that steel and have less of a chance for cracks and things like that. So we do want to focus on it. Now, if you're taking a piece of steel that you're primarily using by stock removal, you might not need to focus on normalizing, but there's no harm in going ahead and doing it because you don't know what that steel went through on its way to your possession. 
Plus, if you're going to be doing something like 5160, you want to make sure that you relieve that stress from its life of being a leaf spring. You know, that even though you have to forge it a little bit to make it flat, there's still a whole other bit of work that has happened to that steel prior to, again, it coming, you know, in your possession. So you do want to make sure and do the normalizing process because it's only going to give you a better result in the end. So I suggest it. Let's see if we have a hard edge here. Yeah, I think that'll work. <laughs> now we need to go ahead and temper this at 400 degrees for two hours. Alright guys, let's go ahead and wrap this one up right here with some of that awesomeness right there. I always love the way the blades look whenever they come out of the quench, they go into the temper, and you get that kind of bronzish look peeking out from the black and everything in there. I just think that that just looks awesome and post-apocalyptic. I just love the way they look like this, but with this particular build, I really want to show off that cool contrast between those super smooth bevels and those rough textured pitted looking flats that we got right there because it's going to cool, put a nice cool finish right where that transition is and then with those nice polished spine and everything this is just going to look absolutely epic so in the next shop talk tuesday episode we are going to be focusing on doing the final grind on the bevels bringing them up to just where we want it to be and then hand sanding this and putting that finish on it so that this really starts looking like a completed knife. So that's going to be the focus of the next Shop Talk Tuesday episode. Be looking out for that. Now for this weekend, I've got an episode that's going to be coming out talking about the five shop sponsorship knives that I've been working on. And we've done all the bevels. We've done all that stuff with them. And... We're getting ready to do the whole heat treat process for all of those, but we'll be talking about some of that stuff. I'll be showing you all some of the process and everything in that episode, so you have that to look forward to. Plus, I got a bunch of other stuff that's going to be coming out. One project in particular that is, let's see, I think it's right there. You can see that little punch of cola right there. That awesome thing is going to be just a, it's just going to be epic, and the whole process around that and you know what it's a part of is going to be really cool and I know that whenever we start releasing that stuff y'all are going to be just absolutely loving it you're going to have a ton of stuff to watch so yeah if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you subscribe because you're going to want to see some of the stuff that we have that's coming up you're really going to want to so be on the lookout for all that stuff guys give this video a like share this video Y'all have an amazing day. Y'all stay safe out there. Chuck that out again. <sighs> Guys, I'll catch y'all next time.